Hey guys, M Just 75 here. Today we're going to be doing a new type of video, as you can see on the screen. Um, let me know if, down in the comments or by liking the video if you want me to make more of this type of Nerf content or just Nerf content, whatever, you know. So, without that, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get into the video. So today I'm going to be comparing the Nerf Switch Shot, which is this one. Switch Strike, I don't actually remember which one it is, there'll be a subtitle saying which one it is. And the Elite Fire Strike, which has been repainted over there. So, now that we know what we're comparing, I'm going to talk about the blasters a bit. So, as far as similarities go, because that's probably why we're comparing them, right? So, they both are spring action, they're both spring blasters that have a prime in the back of each blaster as you can see there. They actually look pretty similar as well. And to fire the blaster, you pull back the prime with a dart loaded in the front right there and then you press the trigger and it fires the dart out. So that's how you fire both of them. They both also do have dart additional dart storage down here. As you can see, they're both also front loading Nerf guns. So if <laughs> If you don't like front loaders or you like magazines, then these probably aren't for you. They also both have iron sights to an extent. The switch shot has them a bit more than the fire strike. But that is pretty much it for the similarities. So the switch shot actually does fire streamlined darts, and the fire strike fires elite darts. So they're a bit different. And now we will look at each blaster individually to see some pros and cons of each blaster. Alright, so we're going to start by looking at the switch shot, which is right before you. The switch shot came in the Nerf Wii game, and you actually got two of these things. There's only one on the screen in front of you right now. The other one is in another place somewhere. But this is the one that we are going to be looking at. So just a quick overview of the blaster if you've never seen a switch shot before. It has, like I said, the two dart storage in the front and the barrel up here where you can front load a dart. It has a tactical rail here on the bottom with the old fashioned spring. It's got also this button, which if you press it and you push on this thing, it will release and you can pull out most of the blaster that actually makes it work. So then you can put a Wiimote in here and use it with the Wii game if you want to. So then you could just slide that back in and put that on. And then also it has the trigger back here. Feels like a somewhat normal trigger. It's got a sling mount back here and then it has the prime in the back. Just pull that back and press the trigger and it will fire as long as you have a dart in there. So now that I have gone over an overview of the blaster, let's get into some of the pros of the blaster. Um, the pros, I mean, you can change it out for a Wiimote. I mean, I, that, that's cool. That's, that's a thing people do, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, there's not a whole lot of pros to this blaster in modern days. It, it feels quite comfortable ergonomically. It has extra dart storage on the blaster, but that's about it. And you could probably holster it if you tried, but that, that's about it. Those are all the pros I can think of off the top of my head. The cons is prob are probably that it fires streamlined darts and it's pretty elite, so it's not going to get those crisp ranges that everyone likes now, like 70 feet per second out of dart for darts and exiting the barrel. Yeah, you're not going to see that on this gun. It also, it also is yellow, which doesn't fit with a whole lot of the attachments we have now, so if you're going to put something on this bottom tactical rail, unless you have old attachments, it's not going to match. But, yeah, that is it for the switch shot. It's pretty simple. It's just out, kind of outdated and isn't really super useful nowadays. Alright, so now we're going to look, look at the Elite Fire Strike. I have an orange version. As you can see, this is not my third time filming this segment. Now to do the overview. In the front, you have dart storage, the laser dot, and the barrel. The barrel being up here, the dart storage being down there, and the laser dot that being the thing in the middle. Moving on top, you have a bit of iron sights and a tactical rail, and then you have your prime back here, your trigger back here, and then your, and then your sight trigger right here, so you can get all those extra style points. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. I'm moving. Yep. There it is. All right. So cool. Now that we've overviewed the blaster, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of the blaster. So 
the pros, it takes elite darts, which is great. It has a tactical rail, you know, cool. You can double up on your red dot sights or put a flashlight on there. And it also it also has a nice prime and comfortable trigger pull or ergonomics and all that stuff. As far as the cons go, um, the laser dot sight will not work without batteries, so that does kind of suck. But that's, yeah. So you would put the batteries down here. You can see there's a screw that you have to unscrew, but you know if you don't have to put them in there, the blaster will still work. But if you want that red dot sight, you, know, you need those batteries. And also, there's a printing on this side, but there is no printing on this side, so yeah, no luck there. So that that is it for the Elite Fire Strike, and now we're gonna take them outside and do a firing test. Here we are. So this is the firing test. As you can see, I've laid out a tape measure. I'm totally not re-recording this audio using those streamlined darts with the whistle heads because that's the closest thing I have. Resting the blast, each blast on the camera really didn't make the audio great, so I'm re-recording it. So first shot, here we go. Let's see what happens. Any minute now, we'll get there. Oh, didn't even make it on the view of the tape measure that the camera has. All right, let's try the second one. Okay, that one went a bit farther, but still within the tape measure. Let's try the third. Yeah, you can see the camera shake. The third one went past the tape measure. I moved the tape measure out of the way more. All right, so now we're going to do the fire strike tests with Elite Darts. Yeah, as you can see there, they're flying pretty far. Um, all of them hit the bookshelf unopposed, so they'd all go farther than that. You can just see them bouncing back. So I just measured to the bookshelf for the data on this segment. So yeah, that has been the firing test. I hope you have enjoyed this re-recorded audio because the other audio was such trash. And yeah, back to the conclusion. All right, so now we have done the firing test and we've shown the pros and cons of each blaster and basically compared them to each other like you're supposed to do in one of these video sort of things. So. What is the verdict? So it all, it all depends on what you're looking for in a blaster, of course, which one you should choose. I'm going to give my opinion after giving the data about the firing test, but anyway, so the, the numbers should be up on the screen right now. Um, as you can see, the switch shot performed significantly worse than the fire strike, but I, didn't, I also didn't have a lot of space, so, you know, all the, all the fire strike shots were above my range of measurement so yeah I did I did move the measuring tape out a bit to measure all the way out to the bookcase about 20 feet over there so all the all the fire strike ones should say about 20 feet unless I read <laughs> over 20 feet unless I measured it and got something different again so now that we have seen the firing numbers and we have gone over all the other stuff if I had, to, if I was forced to field one of these in a nerf battle, I would choose the fire strike. It is, it, for me, it is it fires elite darts, which is great because you're going to be getting, being able to use more ammo from other people. It's s smaller than the s switch shot in almost all dimensions. It fires it harder and farther, and it also has that laser dot for those style points. So. If I would recommend that you if that if you want one of these you go for a fire strike, but if you want streamlines or to put in your a Wii remote in your Nerf blaster, then go find a switch shot because I think that might be one of the few blasters that you can actually put a Wii remote in. So, anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like Nerf content and want me to make more of it, please leave a like on the video or comment or whatever. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.